Welcome to the special edition of Foodcast Social. Today we have a special guest, an absolute legend. He was born in Belgium. He played for FC Barcelona. He went to Cyprus as their national team. And now he's running a VAR company called Mentis. Welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a, it's, a, it's, it's a rare honor when we actually meet a legend who's played alongside Messi, who's played with Ronaldo, and who's also a part of the Mourinho gang before Mourinho became what he did. Uh, my first question to you. After hanging up your boots, how did you get into the tech space, the football space, and the mind space? <laughs> so, basically, I, I realized that uh, I was in the transition to finish my end my career and I had to do something. So before finishing the career, right. I start my, my company. And that's how I would get involved in the same same life that I had in sports, but in a new adventure. So you want to give something back to the sport which gave so much of fame, adulation and fan... Uh... Yeah, in a way I want to give back to the kids and to the pro something that I couldn't have because of the, the timing was not the correct to have the VR uh, that we have nowadays. So I wanted to give back something that I... I think uh, they, they need it. Well, we represent fan here and fans straight away want me to ask you, how is it like playing with Messi? <laughs> with so, him, against yeah. him? So fans know Messi from what is Messi today. Yeah. And uh, I had the chance to play with him and know him since he's uh, 13, 14 years old. Yeah. So he remains almost the same quiet boy and uh, very introvert and uh, very humble. But uh, maybe the television make make him more a legend, and uh, yeah. He's what kind of a boy is he? I mean, is he like a close knit kind of a guy who doesn't want to mess around with people? He's a controversy free kid. Did you know him? Oh, since he, then? he's a very he's very humble, quiet, quiet boy. Doesn't speak too much, but when he have to say, when he have to say something, we'll say it. But uh, generally, he's someone that knows his skills and just go for training, play, and enjoy. Fourteen years old Messi and you were almost the same, little senior to him. What is your one memory of Messi that you remember? So one, one, one uh, moment that impacted me the most is the first time he came to train with us with 15 years old. And I, I, I clashed with him on the field, like we, we had a, I took the ball, I went out, I jumped with my knee like we do the goalkeepers yeah. and I kicked him in the chest. And I expect to see a short boy falling down and maybe was crying, no. He stays uh, still, stand up, and leave like nothing happened. I was like, okay, this guy is he's serious. Did he not turn back and give you that bad look or say a swear or something? No, 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 nothing. Just he looked down, continue, get to his position. Messi is incomplete without comparison with Ronaldo. You've played against with him <coughs> or with him or you know of him, you've seen him. So I think it's, it's, uh, it's not a good comparison because there are two different players who yeah. play almost the same position. Yeah. But it's two different styles. Yes. And I will say that uh, at the, in their way to play, they are the best and will remain the best for a long time. What's the memory of Ronaldo, the great Ronaldo, as we know? So Ronaldo, is a, he's a beast. Ah. He's a machine that knew since very young he had the target to become the best athlete. And he lives every day with this target in mind. Yeah. What is the... What is the mindset of the two players, you, since you've shared uh, your space with them? The mindset of both the players, since you deal with mind. So, I will say the mindset is the same, he's winning. Yeah. They want to win everything. Now, the way to do it is different. Like, Messi is pure skills, but he's all, also very athletic. Right. People think that Messi is only skills and he's really, really strong. Right. And Ronaldo, it's more uh, uh, goleador, he's more uh, a matador, he's more someone that every day go to the gyms before anyone leaves, after every, anyone, uh, eat uh, very amazingly disciplined good. Eating? Very disciplined, very disciplined. You can't be at that level if you're not disciplined. Tell us about your days at FC Barcelona. How was it, I mean, to have Indian fans there? So... How did you get in? Who were the first people you met? Who were the legends you played along with? So I started in Anderlecht in Belgium, playing yeah. since I was four years old. Yeah. And uh, with 16, uh, um, Scouter saw me in a tournament in he, Belgium. In Belgium, and the tournament was in France with, with my my team with Anderlecht. And he told me, "I think you are uh, you have possibilities to play in first division. Do you want to come and make a trial to Barcelona?" I right. went, and then I stayed there for uh, eight years. Right. 
So, who were the legends you played along with? And just tell us the memories of the famous a lot, champions. Yeah. A lot. So, yeah. I've knew Guardiola as a player, Luis Enrique as a player, Rivaldo, uh, Messi, Iniesta, Xavi, Puyol. So, a lot, a lot of players. Well, you've seen the best of the Spanish. You've spe seen uh, Mourinho before he wasn't Mourinho. Yeah. Just take us through the translator bit to the great coach that he is now. So Mourinho remains Mourinho. Yeah. Uh, so I had also the great chance to work with him when uh, Va uh, Van Gaal was the head coach of for Barcelona. Mourinho was there like assistant with yeah. uh, Ronald Koeman, Franz Hook. And uh, actually Ronald Koeman and, and uh, Mourinho were coming to the second team right. to train us. And uh, Koeman took the first 11, Mourinho the second 11, but Mourinho was remaining the same like you he see is today, now. he's the same. If he has to say something, he will tell you, not always in the nicest way, but you understand <laughs> that the intention is nice. Yes. He wants the, the players to improve. He's not someone destructive, even if sometimes television magnify everything. So, he's a hard-talking, bold guy, but good at heart. Is that what you're saying? I, I don't think he's a... He's a hard-talking, but he's a straightforward. So, what do you think he says? And times prove that he was right to be like this. So you see, actually, you've seen him as a translator to the great coach? No, uh, you cannot say, maybe at the time people could think about it. Yeah. But knowing Mourinho today, you cannot think that he was a translator. He was, he was always a thinking man, as a thinking player? Yeah. When yeah. he was growing? I think this, these people are made like this. So people know them now, but if you know them back then, they're the same. Right. The same mindset, mindset, the same, they're thirsty to win, thirsty to learn. Did he, did he have bad temper or tantrums as no. a coach? No, no. He was very fair to everyone. He's very friendly and he knows how to tease people to make them improve. Do you think his press conferences are iconic, including the special one? Yeah. And the, and the quotes that he gives, is it all planned? <laughs> Just let the secret out. No, I don't think so. He, yeah? I think it's the same in, the, in his uh, daily life. Like, what happens is that in the TV, yeah. you can go back and put again the image and again the yeah. image and everything is get magnified. But the guy is like this. It's simple. What he is at Roma, he was at Barcelona yes. and Porto? Same way. Same way. Same. Maybe now he's a bit more calmer. He said uh, a few oh. days ago that he's Spring? less... He's less thinking about him and more about Roma. The, the group. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Mourinho is incomplete without Pep Guardiola. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen him as a player, what yeah. now Manchester City is seeing as a brilliant, legendary coach. Your views on Pep the player and Pep the coach? So Pep the player and Pep the coach, again, have the same mindset. They are chess yeah. football players. Yeah. They play chess. And Pep is a guy who, what he knew about football on the pitch, you can see that this uh, will to show new tactics, be sick about how the team moves, how the effort is together, how do you play, is the same way that he was thinking as a player. So the comparison between the two guys, there's a lot of fight happening on television and media. Comparison, fight, bad words being exchanged. Your views? Okay, if you are in the dressing room of uh, any sports, you will see fights. Yes. And uh, again, because he's in TV, everything gets... Magnified. Uh, yeah, like a bomb. But sure they have a good relationship, sure they don't have any problem together. No? No. I'm not, so I you think, think it's they, more of media I made? think they have respect one to each other, 100%. What about uh, the Pogba and Mourinho case? Do you think it was blown out of proportion? I don't know. As a player, as a player from outside. I don't know. I think when you arrive, when you reach this level, everyone has their own ego. Yeah. So I think uh, I think what happened in the dressing room or in the family should stays remain. There. Yes, yeah, stays there. But again, if you have TVs, if you have, uh, and it's normal because it's a business. Yes. The press, press conference, newspaper, we live also from that. So we have to accept it. But we have to know where to draw the line and that's what happened in and that's it, finish there. Now, when you finished your career, I'll come back to the first question. When you finished your career, you said, I want to give something back to the football community. Yeah. Now, just for the benefit of the fans, <coughs> what is it that you're doing uh, in greater detail? 
So basically, we want to work the brain of the athletes through VR, through yeah. technology. What we found out, when I was in Barca, I was used to make uh, exercise on computers. Yeah. So the ball's moving, you choose, you pick the balls, yeah. and, uh, but how you can measure what is the improvement of the athletes is very difficult. Right. In VR, in the opposite side, you can measure everything, speed reaction, speed movement, positioning, uh, decision making, you can measure everything through information that you take in the game. So basically we have a program for goalkeepers. Yes. You're in a stadium like here, you're in the goalpost, cannon shoot, throw balls, crosses, players a header, and you have to react. Now everything you do is recorded and keep in the, in the database. So coaches can go back and analyze how he started. Now if you think about a boy, 14 years old. Right. He worked 10 years with this. Right. What's going to happen with this information? Ah. And he become Courtois. Yeah. This information is, is gold. So what you're trying to do in, in a sense, if you were to explain it to our viewers, is you're storing it through technology and you're uh, lessening the people physically out there, the coaches and the assistant coaches, and you're concentrating more on the reaction. Am I right? We want to work any aspect that is related to the brain. And to improve the... To improve game. them, to analyze them, to improve them. And in a very short period of time, you are... Uh, we, it's very... It's a, still baby. All right. So we don't know what's going to happen in 10 years, but it's very promising. So, brilliant. It's a World Cup year. Yeah. Your prediction of the top four teams for the World Cup. When you look into the camera, what the, do you think? I think the usual suspect. The Argentinas, the Brazils, yes. the England. And Germany, Spain. I wish, I wish Spain or Argentina can take it. You think to the last I night? wish for Messi to win it, so he can be in his end of the career with something that I think he deserves. What is your memory of, the most special <laughs> memory of Messi? On that wish? Look, it's, it's, a, it's a guy who brings so much to the sport. You see how we evolve as players. It's like Maradona. Yeah. The same after Maradona, the football make a step in front. Yes. With Messi and Cristiano, football again makes a step in front. Yeah. And now coming Mbappé, that is, if it's possible, more complete than them. So, Orko, on that particular note, I thank you no, thank for you. talking to our Indian fans. This thank is Sunil Kalda signing off on Footcast Social, straight from Tel Aviv, Israel, where we talk about the future of sports. Keep watching NewsX. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.